Well, when it comes to keeping the roads clear this weekend, some people will be using something a little bit different. It's salt mixed with vodka. Jordan Burgess continues our team coverage with how it works. Flakes fill the air, and soon they'll settle on these streets and sidewalks outside Sinclair Community College. That's when it's time to hit the hard stuff. Some people are turning to vodka to find relief from the storm, but not in the way you might think. They're actually pouring this stuff on the salt to try to help melt the snow. Gives a whole new meaning to the term vodka on ice. Cheers. Okay. All right. I didn't know that. I learned something. <laughs> Maybe they go take a little minute and to themselves and <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, what it is is it's the byproduct of vodka. People used to throw it out until they stumbled upon another use for it. This, no matter what, zero, minus 10, minus 20, it's not going to freeze. The liquid may not look appetizing. And what people really get, you know, just freaky about is when you can do this with the product and then lick it. It won't hurt you in any way. It doesn't taste the best. But the roads just drink it up. Doug Anderson says the magic salt is so effective that cities and contractors will save money using it. You're going to throw less salt, which means you're spending less money in your salt done it out there, and you're going to spend less money in gas, less money in time paying people to go back and reapply the product because the product's going to keep on working. Sinclair has been using the magic salt for the last few years. I've noticed that typically the walkways aren't very icy, so it's usually pretty passable. So I would say that it works. It seems the only thing that can keep the shots of this liquid from flowing, Mother Nature. It's killing us this year. You know, last year we had a lot of weather at this point. We were able to show people more what it would do. Now we're told that Riverside is trying this sold out and cities in the Northeast have actually been using it for years. So perhaps we'll start to see a little bit more of this trademark brown magic salt around. Hey, whatever works, I guess. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News.